You're waiting on that TPP check, and as you wait, you get an email. That email is from one of the bad guys trying to steal your money. Joining us now is Laura Blankenship with the Better Business Bureau. Laura, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. This is one of the newest scams you're hearing about. Fill us in. How does it work? Anytime there is uh, money involved, you know, scammers are lurking. So um, something that uh, people need to be cautious about is uh, scammers using your business and personal information to apply for PPP loans. So they can do this by using the business owner's social security number and then the business EIN number, and they can obtain that um, by hacking into your personal information. Um, that can be obtained by a simple phishing message. That's why it's so important to be very cautious whenever you're doing anything online um, because just a simple mistake online can open you up to a world of trouble, unfortunately, and compromise your business and your personal information. Yeah, Lauren, this isn't just for the PPP program. We understand this is happening with people who are applying for SBA loans as well. People are applying for that loan using the business owner's social security number and, again, that EIN number for your business. So you have to make sure that you are guarding that information very closely. Yeah, and so many people right now are, are really kind of scratching and clawing for every dime they can get to make sure they can feed their families, and that's where they're rushing uh, and then and then getting trapped by the bad guys. Absolutely. That's why you have to be very cautious and deliberate with everything that you're doing, especially where your business is concerned. So again, if you receive an email that you weren't expecting and it says something about the PPP loan or the SBA loans, and then it asks for you to click on a link, that could potentially be a phishing link. And that could download malware to your computer, opening you up to compromising all of your personal information, passwords, anything that is stored on your device. So you have to be very careful. Use strong passwords. Use those two-step authenticators. And make sure that, you know, you are only communicating with the actual person that you believe that you're communicating with. Do your additional research. That's so important. And, you know, the same thing is happening with unemployment. There are people that are filing for people's unemployment because they have the person's personal social security number. So you have to be very careful with your personal information. All right, important information. Laura Blankenship with the Better Business Bureau. Thanks for joining us.